So I've been involved in the Jackson Storm Ryan Priest ride really recently, and I try my best to avoid it, but it's not good enough. Well, what's worse, Brady Five, is barrel rolling. And I've been barrel rolling in all my part-time races so far this season. And when's your next race of your part-time season? Hmm, I think it will be Darlington. And when will you get your second win of the season, Brady Five? Well, as long as I don't get involved in the Jackson Storm Ryan Priest rivalry, I should be able to get my second win of the season. Okay then. Well, I think the race will be starting soon and everything. Yeah, I think it is too. So we're getting ready to go racing in Dover. Bree 5 and Jimmy Johnson are on the front row. Jimmy Johnson's got the pole for this race. Even though he has been flipping in his part-time races this season. And Brady Five has been involved in the Jackson Storm Ride Breeze rivalry. So let's hope that doesn't happen to any of them today. But we're getting ready to go green. Green flag, we're racing in Dover. So Jimmy Johnson has won here a lot. Brady Five won here in his rookie year in the first race of the round of 12 and he was part of the playoffs so that he can advance into the round of eight so they're side by side who's gonna lead lap one it looks like it's gonna be jimmy johnson lead lap one of the race and it seems though chase elliott might be in trouble i don't know yet and there's a crash right in front of him and he doesn't avoid it Caution will wave. And looks as though he got involved in the Chase Race Law Jim Revick rivalry. Man. So those three cars that wrecked will continue and everything. And there's been a couple of position changes and everything. So let's see what can happen. As we're coming to the restart here in Dover. Green flag, we're racing once again in Dover. I think Bobby Swift was shoving Ryan Priest for a second, and Ryan Priest did not spin out. Come out of the final turn, Jimmy Johnson is gonna win stage one here in Dover. So we get ready to start stage two here in Dover, and let's see if Jimmy Johnson can sweep the stages and maybe get the win in his part-time season. Whoa, Brady Five's in the wall! Caution! Oh, come on, I can't keep getting involved in the Jackson or Ryan Priest rivalry. Uh, hmm, maybe a little too much pushing on the start. <laughs> so Brady Five and Jimmy Johnson are gonna be at the back. And we got Jackson Storm and Ryan Priest on the front row. And let's see what these two will be doing as we get ready to go green. Green flag. Maybe we'll get a big one if these two got it. That's close. And Ryan Priest. Oh! Car spin out! Caution again. Oh my goodness! And Tyler Reddick is upside down! I think we're gonna go on the red flag now. So there's the wreck. Nick Schiff is getting away from that, and so is David Reagan. David Reagan did make Reddit get up in the air, and Haley's got some pretty bad damage as well. So, I think we're going to see these two cars out of the race after that huge crash at the start of Stage 2. And Jack Storm Ryan Priest didn't cause that. So, we're getting ready to go green again, and we had some wildness recently in Stage 2. And uh, that recent wreck wasn't at the start of Stage 2, I believe. And uh, we're getting ready to go green. And let's see if Jack Storm Ryan Priest will cause a wreck this time. Green flag will possibly get a wreck in stage two. And Jack Storm Ryan Priest in contact. And I think Cam Sprinter got on the wall. Maybe have a tire go down. All right, one more left to go in stage two. And more contact being made from Jack Storm Ryan Priest. And we forgot to mention that Brady of Five's Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, 
and Chase Trefla are back in the top 10. Oh, trouble! Ryan Priest in the wall! Jackson Storm will steal the stage win from him as he's still spinning. Oh! Chastain will get hit! And Ross Chastain was a lap down. And he gets caught up in the Jackson Storm Ryan Priest rivalry. And I think Ryan Priest will continue. We're not quite sure yet. Might be a lap down. I don't know yet. So Ryan Priest will be at the back with Cam Spinner, who is having some tire problems. And Brady Five and Jackson Storm will be on the front row for the start of the final stage. The green flag is out. Let's see who's going to win it. Oh, Bobby Swift. Oh, my God. Oh. He got on the wall, but we're still green. For right now, I suppose. Although Bobby Swift is smoking pretty bad. So, I don't know if he could bring out a caution. And I think he might have to go to Pit Road after that. And he's pretty slow on track for right now. So, no caution yet. And he's now on pit road. Looks like we're staying green, after all. And I don't see any fluid on the track. So we got 50 laps to go in the race. Chris Busher is leading. And uh, he got his first win of the season at Sonoma. So he'll like to get another one here today. So let's see if he can win here today. Crash! Turn one! It's Austin Sendrick. And he's in turn two as well. And we are under caution. And Ryan Priest will get back on the lead lap. Even though he did turn him. And I'm pretty sure he wanted a caution. So we got 45 to go. Busher looking for the win. And looking for his second win in 2023. And maybe he could get it today. Green fly with 45 to go. Let's see if Busher can get the win. Whoa, a couple of cars on top of each other. And Jim Rembrandt just got back on the ground and Chase Racelot is still on top of Daniel Suarez. And possibly we're going to have to go under the red flag. We're not quite sure yet. So another restart is about to happen here in Dover. Chris Buescher is still the leader and trying to get his second win of the season. And maybe he can still get it today. Green flag. Let's see if Pusher can get the win. And seems though Briscoe got a little loose there. Still. Ah, Jimmy Johnson! Caution! And for the third time in his part time schedule, Jimmy Johnson will flip. Let's take a look at the replay. So as the cars are moving. Jimmy Johnson gets loose and get his tires up in the air and then that's when he starts the barrel roll. And there's a big pile up in the back. We forgot to mention that. And there it is. And in it we have Herb Kerbler, Ross Chastain, Conrad Camber, Tim Trellis, Eric Amarola, Nick Sheff, and regular season points leader, Christopher Bell. And I think all of them involved in that wreck We'll be out of the race. We're not sure about Johnson yet. 13 cars out of the race and 30 cars left in the race. And let's hope we don't get any cautions for a while. Green flag. Daniels getting a little shove from Ramirez. And maybe he'll go to the lead. All right, we got two to go to Stenhouse. And maybe Stenhouse he gets his first win of the season here. And Ryan Priest was loose there. And Stenhouse has got to make sure that they don't cause a caution with two to go. And send to overtime. So now trying to get the white flag, but the caution will come out! Now the question is, did Stenhouse get the white flag before the caution came out? He did not! So that means... We will have an overtime finish. And
and I think Ryan Priest wrecked Jackson Storm. And it was Jackson Storm. And expect he'll be getting his revenge in this overtime. So green, white, checkered about to begin here in Dover. Stenas is the leader, and let's see if he can win it. Green flag, overtime, underway. And Busher with a pretty good start. He will be the leader. And Chase Elliott, maybe in trouble, slowing down, still green. And here comes Stenhouse. He will take the lead from Chris Busher. And look at this, Jackson Storm is shoving into cars. And no one spun out yet because of that. And the white flag is out. Next flag blended. Caution or checker. And Jackson Storm is now right behind Ryan Priest. What will he do? And Stenhouse comes out of the final turn to win here in Dover. Oh! Ryan Priest in the wall! And more cars are crashing! Caution! And the race has ended. And that's kind of how these races end with the Jackson Storm Riot Priest rivalry. And Jackson Storm is involved in this. You barely can see him. And we have Will Rush on top of cars. And Jonas Cardells is on top of cars as well. And we have Aaron Clocker upside down on top of Ed Trucken and David Reagan. Wow. What a wild race that was. Wasn't it, Johnson? Yeah, 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 it sure was. <sighs> You're thinking about the flip you had? Yes, I am. Can I not flip in a race for once? Don't worry, Johnson. I'm sure you won't flip at Darlington in um, two weeks, I believe. Well, I probably will be flipped. Well... He does continue after he goes upside down. It's like he never gives up, like I do sometimes. Hmm.